much. Sure, we are in the studio with Stefan and Michelle. It's been a uh, good, actually, 40 minutes worth of energy. <laughs> Hilarious. I mean, we ran on. We did, but uh, it's because they're both such fun people. And now I'm talking about them like they're not here, which is really good. <laughs> I know. Um, and Michelle does stand-up comedy. Yes, yeah, she does. So she is on tour, like almost like immediately after you finish uh, some movie shooting. Where where can we find you on tour? Um, <laughs> I go to Ottawa from the 27th of December to okay. January 1st. Where are you? At Absolute Comedy. And then I'll be at Rumors Comedy Club from January 13th. And where's that? To the 19th? I don't know, like, I don't know. Yeah. January 13th to the end of that week in Winnipeg. <laughs> then I'll be in St. Catharines from January 25th, 26th. Um, at the only comedy club there, whose name escapes me. <laughs> and this is the only one in St. Catharines. So we you can do that can't miss yeah. it. <laughs> um, and then I will be at the Laugh Shop Calgary uh, for Valentine's weekend. Wow. Yes. We're spending Valentine's. Oh, I'm going? Yeah, you are. I'm joking. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's what I know off the top of my head. So cool. if you're in any of those places, come find me. And as a follow-up <laughs> question, because it didn't come up during the main interview, yeah. uh, who are your big influences for comedy? Oh my gosh, I get asked that so much, and it, it's just for Kevin Ever Smith's probably the biggest one, though, right? <laughs> sure. Ever <laughs> <laughs> the best. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's forever changing. Mm. It really changes so much. Um, like I really like when Alan used to be a stand like. Early Ellen, I, I used to watch her specials all the mm -hmm. time when I was really young. Sure. All the time. And I've seen so many live females, like a lot of the early grades. Like I saw Whoopi live, I saw Lisa uh, Lampanelli live. Um, we, we were watching the History of Comedy, they had a thing on females. And I don't want to say this now, but I used to love Roseanne. I used to see all her stuff, sure. all this, which is it's kind of hard to say that now. Given everything, you're yeah, so that upset happened, about but it made me so sad. It made so me sad right to like she's really because upset. she was like my hero for songs. Yeah. she was one of the reasons why I got into comedy. That's why it's so hard for you so to answer that question, isn't it? It, yeah. it was because I can't really say she's an influence now because of she's an influence. You just behavior. don't yeah. like how she turned out. No, right? exactly. So, and we were watching that, and it made me so sad. They were watching like her interviews and like her clips and things. And like her that. Rodney Dangerfield special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh, it was it was really sad to kind of see what happened. Um, but, I mean, there's so many, like, local comedians in Toronto that I think are amazing that I just like to watch. And, you know, so if you are in Toronto, just head down to a local club or yeah, mm -hmm. an, an open mic or just comedy bar. There's so many shows there. I think there's so many unknowns in Canada that just don't get their shot because they are in Canada. So yeah. that's my advice. And they're not known yet, so you can steal their jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful. Yeah. So, yeah, I just think that there's so many people here doing it that don't get the credit that they deserve because they aren't in any of the places where one might get discovered, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Nice. All right. Then we do one quick pause.